Welcome back to the Getting Started course. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up the workflow to edit a to-do. It's going to be a little bit involved, but I'll take it slow and walk you through the process. We're going to have to build UI elements for the edit workflow, then set up JavaScript functions to actually help us update the to-dos, and lastly, we'll set up event handlers to call those functions. For us to get started, head back to your application, and if you've been following along, you'll notice we deleted almost all of our to-dos in the last video. But don't worry, you'll just have to refresh your browser and you should have them all back showing up in the application. The next thing I'm going to do is head over to the tabs widget and we'll want to rename the tabs. The first tab should be called the view tab and the second tab should be called the edit tab. Next, we want to go to the data file and we'll want to set a new variable called active to do. This is going to hold the index of the to-do currently being edited. We we'll initialize it to undefined right now because we have no active to-do and that looks good. Now we can head back to the canvas and go to the tabs widget and read the default tab based on the active to-do. So what we want to do here is set up some JavaScript logic to check if there's an active to-do. If there's an active to-do, we want to set the tab to the edit tab but if not we want to set it to the view tab so if it's undefined we want to display the view tab but if active to do is not undefined we want to display the edit tab all right so that looks good now let's set up the ui element to trigger editing it to do for that we're going to need an icon button so i'll go grab one and drop it in the list item and what I want to do is set this icon style to an edit icon. Then for the styles, we want to set the button variant to tertiary. And we can head back to the main button properties and set up an onclick event to save the to-do's ID as the active to-do. So this is going to be data the active to-do equal to the current index of the to-do and that will be the index of that to do on the to do's array all right so now we can take this for a spin clicking on the edit icon should take us to the edit view which is going to set the value of active to do to the id of the to do currently being edited and you can see that this happens exactly as we wanted it to now we can actually start setting up the views to edit it to do the first widget i'm going to need is a container widget so I'll go search for that and drop that into the canvas. All right. And next, we need a few other widgets. The next is going to be an input widget. So I'll grab that and drop that into the canvas. Ensure that this is well sized. All right. And lastly, we need an icon button to trigger the save event. Alright, so that looks good, but I think I might need to adjust it a bit so that it is not squished up at the corner of the container. Okay, so that looks good. For the input, I'm going to be renaming this to the edit input. And we're going to make a few other changes to this widget. The first being removing the label of this widget, so we're going to take that out. Then. For the default value, we want to display the title of the currently active to do, which is set for editing. So we can read that by writing some JavaScript to grab the value of the ID in the to do's array by passing in the active to do variable. So now it's going to be to do's dot data dot active to do. And you can see we have that object adjourned. Then we want to go ahead to read just the title. And you can see looking at the input widget, we have the title of that task auto-filled on the input widget for us. And that looks nice. Next, let's set up some JavaScript events to actually handle editing the to-do. So we need to go to the JavaScript file and this is going to be the app.js file and set all of that up. We want to create a new function to edit a to-do. This function is going to take two arguments. The first is going to be the ID and the next argument is going to be the title. And what this function is going to do 
is that it is going to update that to do in place. And since we already have the update to do function created, I'm just going to call that function and pass in the to-dos ID and pass in the payload that contains just the to-dos title. And lastly, we want to reset the state of the active to-do variable because after calling this function, we will have no active to-do left to edit. So we want to set it back to undefined so that the state of our application is properly managed. Now, heading back, we want to set up that icon button to a save button. So I'm going to set the icon style to a disk icon. And then we can head over to the styles tab and I'm going to set the button variant to tertiary. Next, I am going to set up an onclick event. So let's just write some JavaScript here. And what we want to do is call the edit to do, which is in the app.js file. So this is going to be app.edit2do. I want to pass in the ID of the to do, which we can grab from data.active to do, and then the title, which we can grab from the edit input.text. All right, so this looks good. Now we can go give this a try. So I'm going to rename this from hit enter to submit to hit enter to save. And we can use the save icon to have this saved. And you can notice that that has been updated on the view as well. Now let's try this one more time. I'm going to rename mark as done to mark as complete. And you can see that that has been updated as well. All right, so this is how easy it is to set up the update workflow. It was a bit involved, but we we're able to set this up by creating the needed UI components and then going in, in to write the JavaScript functions to perform the edit flow and setting up events between the UI and the functions we created. In the next video, we'll take a look at adding persistent storage into the application. I'll see you in the next one.